Our mission is to get the boulder up to, to the mountain before midsummer. Each month we go out, obviously the, the valley is changing, so it's about observing that. And there's also the new people who come out each time. So uh, we're recording the, the pictures, but I'm also recording the voices. Dahi Smith. Lisa Jackson. Eamon Sinnott. Peter O'Farrell. Louise Forbes. Nick Forbes. Laura Tedeschi. Sabrina Turri. Anna Schmidt. Monica Kaiwan. Vin Jong Sheen. Marie McCarthy. Shona McCarthy. Ilona Biernat. Monica Ormichak. Magda Adamus. Padma Bernagos. Susan Ashelman. Mark Quinn. Andrew Power. Shimin Shohar. I was inspired by the story of Oshini Tiernan Og. He returned from the land of eternal youth, Tiernan Og, to just outside Tala, Glenismol, where the Fianna used to hunt and he met some people trying to lift a boulder up the valley there. He offered to toss it up the mountain, and in doing so, he fell off his horse and aged 300 years in an instant. I found a boulder in Glen the Small and brought it down the mountain and invited people to recreate Oshin's mythic feat by helping me to carry the rock back to the top of the valley, 12 kilometers away. And there we built a cairn at the foot of Kapur that would mark our feet. On all the peaks around Glen Small, there are ancient cairns that were built by our ancestors. So we're linking in to a long tradition of stone moving. Rock to the Top is about walking and talking, about people connecting with this place by taking a long journey from the city to the mountains and back again. It happens over a year so people can return through the seasons and experience the valley. Many people were walking this route for the first time from the square in Tala along the Dublin mountain way up to Glen the Small and the top of the valley. On each of the walks during the year, there was a performance or event linked to the place. So we had a poetry reading in January by Ian Kilroy of his Sonnets of the Dublin Mountains. But investigate this mountain thoroughly. It too is water. It flows black and living. We had a Georgian folk singer singing songs of the mountains. We had talks on geology and on the the dodder and the the reservoirs that walk passes by. On a misty April day, Piper Eamon Walsh played for us as we assembled the cairn. And in the spring, Donny Anderson, a Glenismore farmer, gave us a sheep shearing and sheep herding demonstration. In September, we had a harvest picnic with barbecued lamb from the mountain and vegetables from the allotments in the valley. And in March, Ashtori Hawakta performed Oshin Nir Horna Fena, or Oshin in Search of the Fianna, which I wrote inspired by Lady Gregory's versions of the conversations between Oshin and St. Patrick. And the first part was performed at Rua Red in Tala, and then the walkers, as they went up the mountain, encountered young Oshin and Neve Kinor, who came from Tirnanog and took him away. And then the final part where Oshin falls off his horse up on the hill. That play was then recreated for the finale, also in June. And on the final walk, when the last rock was put on the cairn and the boulder had been moved to the top of the mountain, we had a celebration in a glade on the hill where we roasted a local lamb. Everyone contributed to the picnic. We had local honey from the field and we had a performance by the Rihim Orchestra, a youth ensemble of traditional musicians playing a, a suite specially written for the Celtic seasons. And we finished with Bialtana, the summer, the hope of summer. And at the end of a beautiful day, a sunny day, we return to the valley. The story will continue, but it belongs to everyone who's been part of making this. I saw it and thought that's a quirky sort of thing I'd like, that sounds intriguing, let's have a go and I just thought I'll go once and I'll see what it's like but as you know I kept coming back because it has been really fun Play this mount never! 
confess to a priest. Just to really walk and meet people and be at one with nature, you know. It was lovely, I really enjoyed it. Von Aaron Koppel. What current you cuss or tall of the hair and the ill feet one sugar joe? It's been a fantastic experience. Just for us, we're always doing different walks. So to see this walk over the 12 month period, all the different sides nature has shown us and meeting all the different people along the way. I am eating honey from heaven. Plain of small honey. These walks are magnificent. It's just to clear one's head. Get out into the mountains. The nighttime hike we did. There weren't too many of us. I managed to drag my kids along and it was just really good fun. It was incredibly cold, freezing cold. But it was just magical walking up the mountain, little lights, everyone had a head torch, so little lights twinkling, and then we got to the top, and then we slid, actually, all the way down, because it's really icy. The first walk, when uh, we were told about the story of Tiern and Og, we were just about to give up, and I saw this white horse up at the very top, and it just encouraged me to go on. And um, when I got up there, the horse came over to me, you know, and it was lovely, but it was like um, a real spiritual moment. I am a shaking tree, a people without a dwelling place. The big thank you is to all of you, and all of you representing all of the other uh, people who've come out on the mountains, the three or four hundred over, uh, over the 12 months. Uh, Thank you for your effort. That cairn uh, belongs to you now, and uh, it belongs to nature. It belongs to nature first. Uh, the seasons will pass. Uh, hopefully, we'll back here, be back here again. Uh, maybe we'll all meet again at midsummer. Give yourselves a big round of applause, Gorilla Maki. Woo!